So this is a little review of the digital microscope, the ADSM302. Uh, it's a nice little unit. We were looking for something that was a uh, pretty high pixel count and had a screen built in uh, because we want to be able to use it without a computer nearby. Uh, the screen itself is just about five inches, a little maybe four and three quarters, a little, a little more than that. Uh, it's a pretty good size. We've got it plugged in. It's a little USB uh, cable and I've got the uh, there's a little remote switch here for turning the power on which I would keep nestled between here so nobody trips on it uh, when you press the on button the power lights come on and the power comes on and you can adjust these lights which is nice and you can stick apart you know stick stuff under there and zoom in on it pretty quickly and easily uh, surprisingly easy to use really nice crisp screen so this is just uh, the screen uh, showing the part and you can, you can zoom in and out a little bit here uh, and then there's the digital zoom that you can access on the remote control and I'm not a big fan of remote controls but because you can lose it and it needs batteries but the uh, zoom function here lets you get another factor of four closer. a little bit laggy. Uh, you can see if I take my finger off the button it keeps counting up. But it does work and it gets pretty close. You can take a picture here on the button uh, with the uh, photo button. But it takes the picture at 1x not 4x. Uh, so that's kind of an oddity but that's what it does. Alright so we can do things like leaves. It doesn't just have to be uh, circuits. So this is a leaf from outside. The part that was cut is really cool. Kind of train in on this. You get a pretty nice sharp view on the screen. Uh, I think we're pretty much zoomed in, except uh, analog as far as it'll go. But uh, let's see if we can get a little closer with the digital zoom here. You see some really interesting features on this plant part of the plant uh, stem that were, were ripped with really neat structure to it. Uh, when you're looking at plants you might want uh, might want some kind of a backlight and so for that we created a little structure here uh, which is just a piece of plastic. We used a heat gun to bend uh, the plastic here and we covered the bottom with aluminum foil, just taped it in place, and then this little piece here is just a 3x5 card rolled into a triangle with some aluminum foil on both sides. So we can stick that underneath and put the lights under on the bottom end here and shine the light right through it very effectively. Let's see if we can focus in on the plant now. And you can almost see to the cellular level uh, with this this setup, which is really cool. That's about as far in as we can zoom on this thing. Uh, and we might be able to see, I see a lot of noise in the picture, but if we turn the sharpness down, see if we can get sharpness soft, then uh, a lot of that noise goes away. Pretty nice and of course from here you can take a picture or a video but it will go back to the uh, 1x size if you do that. Try to take a photo here. It goes it reverts to a uh, 1x there. I do like how the microscope is uh, made out of metal and it's fairly sturdy. Uh, the one one uh, caveat to that is the jack here for the lights. Uh, this, this one pulls out and the lights turn off. But it sticks out more than an inch straight from the back with nothing to protect it and it's a very small barrel. And within a day somebody had already tripped on the cord and, and broken, this, uh, broken this barrel in half so I had to 
kind of solder it back together. I guess if it happens again, I'll just cut the wire, the plug off and hardwire it in. Uh, but I was a little disappointed how fragile that part is. But everything else seems to be built pretty nicely out of aluminum, uh, fairly sturdy. And the, uh, the metal focus adjust here should last a quite a long time. The remote has a couple of unique features on it. Uh, one is this button for color inversion, which lets you invert the colors on the screen so that you can kind of see details better, perhaps. Uh, there is a contrast button, so you can have lower contrast or high contrast, or medium contrast. And then there's a sharpness, sharpness normal, soft, and sharp. And uh, if you're zoomed in all the way, uh, High sharpness looks quite noisy, but other than that, it's it's not too bad. Uh, and then, of course, you have the digital zoom in and zoom out. You have brightness here, where you can make it brighter or darker. Uh, so, useful number of functions. A lot of them are duplicated on the uh, buttons on the on the monitor itself. The one complaint about the buttons on here is that they're black on black, so you can't actually see the letters or or icons. If you have a white marker or a or white out or something, you could probably go over these buttons and clean them up and make it look uh, much more visible. On the top of the unit is the USB jack, uh, an HDMI output, and uh, some indicators here. And then this is the memory slot for the uh, micro SD card. Uh, there's an AV out here. I think this is just the uh, video out for a standard, like an old school type of TV uh, with the composite. Um. All right, so here is the microscope with the monitor here. I plugged in the included HDMI cable to the monitor. And we go ahead and plug it in here. And this screen goes blank, but then it shows up here, nice nice and large on the screen. Uh, you can see the detail really well. Uh, it just looks great. It's not flicker, flickering in reality like it is on my, uh, like it is because of the camera here. Um, you know, it's kind of annoying that this screen shuts off, but that's how it works, so. Uh, but it comes out real nice on there. See how the refresh rate is and so forth. If we like wiggle this leaf, it actually looks pretty good. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how the HDMI function is. I've heard a lot of complaints about the USB with uh, using their own software on the computers. I didn't really even want to go that route because, first of all, it's third-party you know software from China. Uh, second, it's when your laptop, when you upgrade your laptop, you probably have to upgrade the software if they still exist. So you can't lose going with HDMI. You can't lose uh, going with the uh, included five-inch. Uh, monitor here. So if you unplug this, it takes a second, but it will go back to the five inch screen uh, view. There it is. So yeah, it's a pretty cool functionality. I, I like how uh, I can do all this without a computer hooked up to it. So you can top light items like this and uh, use this to, to focus in on them. Uh, and it uh, works quite well. This is a focus, no, sorry, this is the zoom here. So you can zoom out uh, and, and look at your items. Zoomed out a little bit more, keep going. Not sure if I can zoom out that far with this thing, but it's pretty good working distance.